on Spring Creek in Springdale and it seems like a very normal July afternoon. But I can tell you that things are definitely not as they seem here on Spring Creek as environmental officials are actively investigating a pretty simple question. What's killing all the fish? We don't like to get publicity for something like this that could could be man-made, could be, you know, something else. And that's the big question. What has happened in Spring Creek that killed hundreds of fish? Officials tell me grass carp, sunfish, and minnows that all use this stretch of Spring Creek are all dead. The dead fish were found Wednesday morning by people using the Razorback Trail that parallels Spring Creek. Chad Wolf heads the Springdale Parks and Rec Department and says they're waiting for tests. We don't know what happened. Uh, we're still waiting results from the ADEQ. They have uh, tested everything, the fish and the water, and we just hadn't heard anything back yet. And while the official cause of what killed all these fish remains under investigation, one possible cause might be this sewer pipe that you see behind me. I walked over there earlier this morning and the chemical smell coming out of that pipe was so strong that it almost knocked me out. So whatever possibly came out of that pipe and drained into Spring Creek possibly could have killed all these fish because what's important to note here is you get just to the south of this pipe and everything is fine. It's once you get past this pipe and to the north, the direction that the creek is flowing in, that's when you start to see the bodies of all of the dead fish. Wolf told me his own hypothesis as to what may have happened here. One is it's either a fish kill where there's lack of oxygen or some chemical has been dropped into the creek. I did reach out to numerous state agencies, including the Game and Fish Commission and the Army Corps of Engineers, as well as the ADEQ, but we haven't heard back yet. Now, I did speak with a property owner that lives along this portion of Spring Creek where all these dead fish were found. He told me, just like everybody else, he's kind of in a wait and see approach to see what exactly those water quality tests showed, and maybe we'll get some closure as to what exactly happened here. In Springdale, Robert Sir, 4029 News.